Tannen. Yes. Good guess. Look at him, acting like a big shot, throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? The two-bit phony! And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a... Uh, uh, a what? I don't know. It's something I don't like. Something evil. This is the key to our mystery. We've got to get her memory back in the groove. It's an old saloon sign. Looks like it's been through a few bar fights. Talk about a watering hole. A saloon? In Hill Valley? Oh, he can't do that! Grandpa, you can't let him do it! You can't let that snake ruin paradise! Well, if they're all too blind to stop him, I'll just have to take the law into my own hands. I'll make sure this sinful establishment never opens its doors. I'll... I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. Something very... conclusive. I wonder what's cooking. wrong. It'll never burn like that. First, we'll need some kerosene. Apply it liberally to the building site. No sense in being parsimonious. And now, watch. Isn't it beautiful? The devil's handiwork consumed by the fire of righteousness! <laughs> burn, you sucker! Burn! She was never this passionate when we were dating. Uh oh. What is it then? Is it the fire? Turn away! Don't look! It's not staying in the saloon, is it? It's spreading to the other buildings in Hill Valley. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan. I'm a hooligan. <laughs> Do I lay it on too thick? Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh. Hill Valley destroyed my fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876. Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story. Am I, Mr. Sagan? You set me up for a fall. You and Schmernoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the powers invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, I hereby sentence you two criminals hey. to... You! How much have you heard? Enough for a month's worth of headlines in a Haysville Herald. Two months' worth if you shoot those fellows. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Much obliged. There's Beauregard Tannen's half-finished saloon. Sometime during the next hour, Edna's going to light it on fire and accidentally burn down Hill Valley. I wonder where her DeLorean is. We'll find it later. Right now, we've got to stop that fire. I'll go around back, you go through the front. Got it. I think I liked it better on the outhouse door. 
I'd better not get too close. No, stop. It's just me. Mr. Sagan, what are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same question, Miss Pickford. Isn't it obvious? I'm putting an end to your den of iniquity before it starts. I don't think so, Mary. I don't like shooting women, but no one comes between Beauregard B. Tannen and his livelihood. Tannen, stop! If you shoot her, she'll drop the torch, and this whole place will burn up. Edna, stop! If you drop that torch, he'll shoot us! Looks like we're at something of a standoff here, Mr. Tannen. I don't see a way out, unless somebody manages to disarm both of you at the same time. How the hell am I supposed to do that? Dolores Miskin? Mouse? What's the matter, Miss Pickford? Scared of a little mouse? No, but you should be scared. Mice carry diseases. It's a fact. Look it up. Why are you so hellfire determined to meddle in my affairs, woman? You've been a... It's right over his head, but I can't knock him out while Edna's still holding that torch. Juice. That ought to be handy for putting out torches. It's too heavy to lift. I wonder what's in these. No, oh, stop quiet! God. What the hell? Oh, cow crap! There goes all my pickled pig's feet! Maybe we can come to a more peaceable solution, Mr. Tannen. Keep your distance, fancy pants. I don't know you from Adam, but that won't stop me from putting you in a box next to your crazy girlfriend. I'm not his girlfriend. Ha! Going down. Looks like your torch is getting a little dim there, Miss Pickford. It's still hot enough to bring down this little bit of Gamora, Tannen. All right, physics. <laughs> what was that noise? What noise? I didn't hear a noise. Are you here to haul me back to 1931 for my supposed crimes? Or is there some sort of time court for that kind of thing? Time court? What in the name of Ulysses S. Grant is she talking about? Okay, that was lucky. Won't be long now. We'll just see.
Come on. Got any last words? I'll see you in hell, Tannen. You first, lady. Come on, you son of a... the hell are you? I'm the diversion, butthead. Nice one, Doc. Don't tell Clara. She thinks Fistcuff set a bad example for the boys. Now, where's Edna? Doc, she's gone. Edna's DeLorean. We gotta stop her before she hits any more power. Come on! to be worried about. You're a smart woman with a strong moral compass. You just need to think your way out of it. Oh, fudge!